Alright, this is the unboxing of my games, personal gaming experience, G190 Vanguard. Um, I ordered it a couple weeks ago, so normally $349. Uh, I did find a 20% coupon, so shipped, it was $299, um, which I had to pay an additional $92 to get sent from America to England. Um, this is my first unboxing video, so we'll see how it goes. Um, it's quite a big container, uh, right in the size. It tells you what it is. G190 Vanguard. This is the standard edition. It's not the Halo Vanguard. Got the, the size in the box, 16.09 pounds, um, and all the box dimensions on the side. So. The, Box is quite big. Feels well packed. A little bit of shaking there, but not a lot. So we'll get into it. Start opening her up. There's probably some extra tape on here from my buddy. He sent it to me. Now I've, I've seen a couple of these, and I know there's no packaging underneath. So once I open it, the system is right there. Try to uh, get the customs forms out. Luckily, as it was marked as a gift, um, I didn't get charged with any customs. But that was a chance I was willing to take. It was possible I could have been charged at something like twenty percent extra um, when I buy stuff in America and have it sent here. It's a downside of moving out of the country. So there we go, got the box open, and as you can see, as soon as you open it, right at the top, games, you can clearly see it. So, we got, got let's come straight out it looks like. Um, I'm assuming this is the pad that the consoles will sit on itself directly. Um, I thought that would have been inside the box, but it's not. Then the side box. Again, it's the side bits that stop from shaking around. Alright, first we'll go into the accessory box. So there's a sticker sheet, a power supply, an HDMI cable, a remote control, storage pouches, and the sling for the shoulder harness. So open it up. It's packed in quite well. First thing you've got is uh, the stickers. Um, they all appear to be white. Um, you can probably pick any of that up or not. But it's white stickers and maybe some documentation in the back. Um, the next thing I see is the shoulder harness. I'll put that to the side. Then silica gel packs. And here's the first sleeve for accessories. The second one's underneath. So, has a little pack here with the second accessory sleeve. Right, so this is a pack that will have the power supply and also has the remote control right in the box. So that just opens up. 
Oh, and also has the HDMI cable. A short little, I don't know, 10 inch cable to connect the system to the game system. And inside, it's just the power leads. Uh, of course, it has the standard two prong American plug. And if you can see that the back side is the double rounded, which is pretty much standard power lead to go into the power block itself. Um, I, I did confirm this with them before I ordered, but it does say on the adapter itself, the input is 100 to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz. So this will take power from pretty much anywhere in the world. All you need is your own, your own lead. So here I've got the lead from my camera charger with the round pins and fits in the exact same and I'm ready to go. Side. Just pop this remote out, and then one of the upgraded features on the new, on the Vanguard and the Halo Vanguard, is the remote. So I've powered um, settings, light settings, volume, etc. On this little remote, so that that's a little plus. So now. the uh, Vanguard system itself. So here we go. It's got the G logo right in the center. It's just all wrapped in plastic, which is standard packaging. Just give a bit of tape. And the system itself. Now the first thing I will say, it's a much darker blue than I think I anticipated looking at it um, online, which isn't an issue to me. I didn't really buy it for the color. Um, I'm probably going to get a Gears of War skin and throw on this bad boy anyway. Now, it is a bit difficult getting out of the package. It's getting caught in the legs. No, I did. I've never used the old system. This is the first one I've seen. Um, but apparently the old system had a collapsible handle. This one is a solid handle. Feels sturdy. Other than the silica package, I hear nothing shaking around. Um, feels well made. Looks nice. I'm looking forward to using it. Uh, we'll go ahead and peel off that piece of plastic have a look at the set at the box itself. As you can see it's got handles on the side, place you can put a, uh, a lock through to keep it safe. Not that you want to leave it around. You can clip on this side. Shoulder strap clips and then on the bottom there is a kickstand. I'll have to figure out how to get it open. There's a kickstand right here. Alright, so let's open it up then and have a look. I just lift up, pull the flaps down, up and down, and the system is still difficult to open. <laughs> And there we go, the inside. Uh, I was right, there, the padding itself was not built in. Um, got two straps that are for the consoles. Lots of silica 
gel for condensation and moisture. Got some on each set of straps. Just in case, do not eat these. Alright, so we'll loosen up the strap. And we'll go ahead and just put the console pad, which is, this is what this is, inside. Bag, inside of a bag, so. A little bit of waste plastic there in the packaging. More silica gel. Alright, so the foam padding, Scott Games G A E M S. Might be able to make that out slightly. Embossed across the cover. The other side is just rubberized pad. There's material on this side. This should just go in like so. And this is what will be what the Xbox itself will rest upon. Um, my Xbox is downstairs at the moment. The whole reason I have to buy this system um, is because I have a two-year-old boy and when I'm playing Gears of War and things like that, he doesn't like it. It scares him. Obviously, he shouldn't be watching those sort of things anyway. And since he pretty much now owns the TV that I bought, I had to get something more portable so I can play it other other areas of the house. Um, let's take a look at the screen itself. So here we go, here we got the screen with the control panel and there's two speakers. We'll start with the left speaker and go right. So left speaker come across the control panel you see you got HDMI, power buttons, um, brightness, volume. There's two ports. There's two ports for headphones, the power cable, and the other settings with the speaker on the right. 19 inch screen. Now, when the system when the system is not loaded, it is quite top heavy and it can fall. Um, your Xbox should help counterweight that some. But this is what the kickstand is for. So, just gonna have a look now. Not exactly how? There we go. Kickstand just pops out. And the monitor it sits more upright. That's the that's the full upright position. So that's the games G190 Vanguard unboxed. Um, I'm going to throw my Xbox in it, have a play around, do some tests with the sound and the settings, and um, and go from there. And I'm gonna do a review of it. Um, some things that. I, I do know about the system currently um, is that it's not a 1080p screen it's somewhere between 720p and 1080 apparently that was done on purpose to lower um, frame rate lag and latency and but apparently at short distance and for the size of the screen the human eye can't notice a difference anyway so I'll test it out we'll throw, through, throw some games on it check out the sound, test the headphone port, and give it a go and a rundown. See how it feels carrying it around fully loaded, and uh, if it shakes about a bit. We'll get back to you and let you know. Hope you enjoyed my first product unboxing, and I'm sure the geek that I am, I'll have more to come in the future.